Oh, hello, the dog is indeed man's best friend, but only if the man isn't a criminal and the dog isn't an Argentinian or Neapolitan Mastiff. Believe me, it's better not to provoke these little creatures, and today, we'll show you why. Come on, the cane corso, not even the most agile intruder can escape from this monster. Just take a look at how the cane corso ruthlessly bites an enemy's hand. Well, no wonder. After all, the ancestors of these defenders were the ancient Roman gladiator dogs. But how is it possible to have such monsters as pets? The secret, as always, lies in proper training. If the cane corso is properly trained, it will never attack without reason. However, in some countries like Bermuda, breeding of this dog is limited or even prohibited. Oh, the Kangal, this one here has the most powerful bite in the world. If the Kangal stands on two legs, it's likely taller than its owner. Not everyone can tame such a beast. What if one of these escapes the leash? What would you do? Its fierce smile works better than any security system. In ancient Babylon, these dogs were used to hunt lions and horses. Nowadays in Turkey, it's the number one guard dog. In some African countries, Kangals are used to protect cattle from cheetahs. But in Denmark, for example, you can't have such a buddy. The law doesn't allow it. The Turgo Mastiff, this little dog, is the closest relative of the Kangal, but even larger. Along with those iron chains, it looks more threatening than any Baskerville's hound. The Dogo Argentino don't expect mercy from this dog. If the enemy faces it, there's no miracle to save them. Don't be fooled by its wagging tail. The Dogo Argentino attacks at lightning speed and to the bitter end. That's why this muscular dog was originally bred to hunt wild pumas. Like any fighting dog, the Dogo Argentino needs long and careful training. Unfortunately, even with training, this dog isn't always able to gauge its own strength. So letting it play with children or other animals isn't a good idea. The statistics speak for themselves. This breed is prohibited from being bred in several European countries, including the UK, Spain, and Norway. The Rottweiler. It's no coincidence that Roman emperors like to take these dogs on conquest campaigns. Seeing such ferocious jaws, even the coolest-blooded opponent would surely tremble in fear. Have you noticed those huge paws? Many gym-goers would envy them. Despite all their ferocity and readiness to respond instantly to threats, these dogs are ultimately mischievous puppies for life. Just see how an adult Rottweiler enjoys playing with a simple water hose. However, you can't visit Qatar, Israel, or Malaysia with such a little buddy. In these countries, this breed is prohibited. The Canary Mastiff, the force of this giant's jaws is enough to keep it hanging in the air, gripping only the enemy's sleeve. For however long it takes, considering this colossus weighs 60 kilograms, which must be truly daunting. In the second half of the last century, this breed was heavily used in dog fights. Can you imagine a duel between two of these beasts? Thankfully, such pastimes have long been banned. In fact, the breeding of the canary mastiff is considered illegal in some U.S. states, as well as in Australia and Italy. Do you know why? It's not just astonishingly resilient and strong. This dog also feels almost no pain, meaning it's ready to go to extremes in any fight. The American Bulldog, this dog is capable of literally anything, even running up walls. It's unlikely that this dog fetches a slipper. More likely, it brings its adversary in its teeth. Bred for years in U.S. kennels with the aim of creating the perfect guard dog, they haven't quite got there yet. But it seems they're on the right path, don't you think? However, there's a problem. While bulldogs can be trained and get along with humans, it's best not to leave them with other animals. They're very possessive of their owners and don't tolerate competition. Who dares to approach my brother? It's not surprising he's protective. In Switzerland, a person can go to prison for breeding these dogs. Let's be honest, you can't really call these dogs cute. By the way, this isn't just our subjective opinion. A few years ago, a representative of this breed even received the title of the world's ugliest dog. Yet the many folds of skin on the Neapolitan Mastiff's face serve their purpose. They act as a sort of natural armor in battle. When it comes to guarding, few can compete with the Neapolitan Mastiff, but it can be dangerous even for its owners especially with inadequate training and close contact with children. Hence, authorities in Singapore, Romania, and several American states have decided to ban its breeding on their territory. The pit bull, 
undoubtedly the most famous fighting dog in the world, and it makes sense. After all, you can't ignore those jaws and muscles. Obviously, because of them, it's prohibited to breed pit bulls in Australia, Colombia, Malaysia, New Zealand, and a dozen other countries. In some places, they're even considered weapons. However, when pit bulls behave like this, you can almost forget that. The pit bull inherited the toughness of the bulldogs. The maximum playful instinct came from the old English terrier. So, in a way, these dogs are examples of an unmatched combination of traits. The Belgian Shepherd, we don't see this guy as anything less. What kind of resilience do you need to agree to be a punching bag for a pack of fierce dogs? They have quite a bite, even from a young age. But wait, what's the difference between the Belgian and German versions? At first glance, they're almost identical. But the Belgian version has lighter bones, meaning more agility and quicker reactions. In summary, the Doberman is an excellent dog and gets along well with children. However, it's also prohibited in Bermuda, among other places. Prejudice against Dobermans seems to prevail there. They are truly strong dogs and excel as police dogs. During World War II, they even served in the U.S. Marine Corps. However, they prefer to expend their energy on ball games and other canine pastimes with their owners. The boxer, after watching that video, it's hard to take them seriously, but we should. They're used as guards, rescuers, bodyguards, messengers, and guides. The breed's name is associated with the behavior of a boxer in the ring. These dogs have a universal blood type, making them frequent blood donors. Properly educated, they pose no danger to individuals. However, in Qatar, the breed is prohibited. The Great Dane, not only excellent guard dogs, but also record holders. They're considered the tallest dogs globally, with an average height of 80 centimeters. This giant, appropriately named, entered the Guinness World Records for reaching a height of 2.20 meters on its hind legs. Though usually not aggressive, they can decisively attack a stranger if trained to do so. However, they may not fully grasp their size, potentially causing accidents. The Bull Terrier, though smaller, can compete fiercely for the title of fiercest dog. They can confront aggressors with their stone-like jaws and play gleefully with water. They're known to sacrifice themselves to save their owners. Despite being prohibited in Bermuda and other countries, they remain loyal protectors. The Tosa Inu, developed over a century ago in Japan as fighting dogs, they're now used in dogfighting, which, although banned in most places, still persists in Japan. However, they're genetically ill-suited for living with other dogs and shouldn't be left alone with children. Hence, they're heavily restricted in numerous countries. So it's clear who takes the top spot in today's list. Don't slack off. It's time to recharge your brain, dot present, and even the future unfold. Natural upheavals, amazing animals, shocking facts, and unsolved mysteries await. Subscribe now. You won't regret it. Today's video ends here. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to support the channel with a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.